Hello out there, welcome. Today, we're talking about power electronics and why FPGAs are mandatory for the hardware and loop testing of those applications. I'm pleased to welcome one of our power electronics experts, Thorben Hofstadt. Thorben has many years of experience in the simulation of power electronic circuits, and he has frequently consulted when established approaches need to be taken to the next level. Hi, Thorben. To begin with, can you give us a brief overview of where power electronics are used? Yeah, hi, Alicia, and hello to our audience today. So, yeah, power electronic devices are the key component in any kind of modern energy conversion. Uh, they are indispensable both in renewable energy generation plants as well as for any consumer in the energy network. So, but of course, especially for electromobility, they play also a major role when it comes to charging and traction applications. Here, uh, compared to classic drive applications where we usually have switching frequencies in the range of, let's say, 2 to 20 kilohertz, the requirements uh, in the area of onboard chargers are significantly higher because modern onboard chargers operate often with switching frequencies of 100 kilohertz or even higher. Thanks for that high level overview, but what are the resulting challenges that engineers face when validating control systems for power electronic applications? Yeah, so uh, actually our customers always try to increase, for example, the reliability, energy density, performance and efficiency of their systems. And each of these um, can be optimized individually, but in the vehicle, the available installations pace and the weight play also a very decisive role. And here, uh, the reduction of space and weight make high switching frequencies necessary. And this really results in special challenges. Uh, so for the control of these, uh, for the control of these uh, fast switching systems, the established approaches of power electronics, most of them based on average uh, values, are often no longer sufficient. So for a true to life simulation, the sampling or the update rate of the models needs to be much, much faster. And this, of course, also increases the demands on the simulation platform enormously. Well, why is FPGA beneficial for validating those control systems? Yeah, so um, FPGAs are very flexible and can be configured according to the application needs. So on the one hand, it is possible to benefit from high-speed I.O. interfaces and signal processing with predefined hardware solvers. And on the other hand, uh, you can program the FPGA individually using textual or graphical programming. And thanks to this wide range of options, it is possible to switch from a motor model for the first use case to a charger model for another use case by just downloading different binary files to one and the same test system. Yeah, so um, actually FPGAs can calculate thousands of operations in parallel, and this allows for the required input to output a latency of less than one microsecond. And here only really the latest FPGAs with a step widths of just a few nanoseconds are able to manage the required cycle times at all. And uh, our DSpace FPGA boards combine both the high-end FPGA technology with high-end I.O. interfaces and convenient programming. And uh, this, um, the ease of programming is also a very decisive factor here because modeling in this time domain can no longer be done with uh, generic implementations, uh, especially for a simulation of power electronics. Each piece of generic costs performance, and here we are really looking for the last nanoseconds. So. Thorben, what FPGA-based solutions does DSpace specifically offer for power electronics testing and validation? Yeah, here uh, we have to take into account conflicting requirements when we talk about uh, real-time simulation of power electronics. Of course, the quality of the simulation results is uh, crucial for testing and validation. However, um, improving the accuracy usually yields higher computation effort. And um, yeah, if we want to reduce this, um, computation effort during runtime especially, then we have to execute a much more complex pre-processing. 
And this um, increases then the memory consumption significantly on our hardware platform. Now, um, of course, it's possible to apply simplifications um, to the topology. With this, we can reduce both memory consumption and computation effort. However, um, the applicability and accuracy of our model might suffer in this case. So you see, it is very important to understand um, really the application and needs to adjust this mentioned trade-off under consideration of the available FPGA hardware resources. And yeah, to do this, DSpace provides uh, different solutions um, for the FPGA-based simulation of power electrons. For example, um, for established and well-known topologies like three-phase inverters or active rectifiers like the token pole PFC, uh, we provide ready-to-use models. And um, these models are capable for switching frequencies up to 100 kilohertz and higher. So benefit here is that customers can use these models um, directly and integrate them into their FPGA applications. Um, as an alternative to this approach, uh, the electrical power system simulation package EPSS is an easy to use tool that enables FPGA based simulation. Um, and here, um, this solution comes with a pre compiled FPGA solver. So you can start your FPGA based simulation without any knowledge about how to program an FPGA. All you have to do here is just uh, implement your topology of the circuit in Simscape electrical specialized power systems. And then EPSS uh, configures everything that is needed for the real time simulation automatically. This makes this approach, of course, very flexible and interesting for non uh, state of the art topologies. Yeah, and last but not least, in case of uh, very tough requirements like switching frequencies of 200 kilohertz and more, we also offer engineering services. Uh, within this service, we implement circuit specific models for the topologies by applying novel and optimized modeling approaches. And yeah, with these cutting edge implementations, we achieve the best performance and save really the last nanoseconds. Yeah, so as you can see, um, power electronics validation is very diverse and you can't kill all birds with one stone. So combining the right tools with suited platforms makes a difference here and allows you to always uh, get the most powerful hardware in the loop environment and solution. Well, Thorben, it was great speaking with you today. And uh, thank you for sharing this information. Yeah, thank you as well. And uh, definitely stay tuned. Uh, we have a lot on our product road roadmap to master or the power electronics validation task. And to our customers, of course, we are very happy uh, to talk with you about your applications. Great. Thanks. DSpace, your partner in simulation and validation.